Head of President Trump's transition team at the Environmental Protection Agency says he expects the new administration to ask for significant budget and staff cuts. He predicts the president will look to cut about a billion dollars from the EPA's eight billion dollar budget. He also says Trump will likely try to cut about 15,000 employees. Right now, there is a temporary media blackout in place for that agency and a freeze on all contracts and grants. Well, those here in the Miami Valley who are concerned about those possible cuts uh, held a protest outside the Dayton EPA building this afternoon. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald was there, here now to explain their concerns. Protesters gathered outside of the Dayton EPA office in the Oregon district around noon. Despite some chilly temperatures, they made sure their voices were heard. The protesters were at the EPA office to support the organization and the environment. President Trump's decision to suspend the EPA research and implement a media blackout has protesters concerned. One protester that I spoke with said that she was there for her children, the very reason she chose to attend the protest. Um, I'm out here in front of the EPA to, you know, protect my kids' future. Um, I think climate change is one of the most real and pressing issues that, you know, is affecting my kids' future. And I want them to know that I did everything in my power to fight for them and, you know, fight for the environment, fight for our environment. Now, today's protest was completely peaceful, and most people that we spoke to said they would continue to voice their concern if the EPA is blocked from doing their job. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.